Hello! In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download or install drive update or install drivers on Lenovo IdeaPad 5. And there are two different methods of doing that. Let's begin with the first one in settings. Go to the settings, then scroll down to Windows Update. Now you may need to click on check for updates or install updates. I'm gonna click on install all and now you can see that it has started. There's so much of them. But if after that, when everything gets installed and sometimes may prompt you to restart your laptop, then if something's still not working, let's say like your camera is working, but microphone isn't. Then, uh, if you go to Advanced Options, Optional Updates, Driver Updates, and you see different updates here on the list, and there is the camera uh, driver. If your camera doesn't work, you can install it. But if your, ca if your microphone works, um, and there's the microphone update, then you shouldn't get it from the Optional Updates section. The Optional Updates are only, should be only used for things that don't work on your system. Now let's go to the um, next method, which is in browser. So go to the browser and now type in PC support dot Lenovo dot com. I'm just going to also like set the language, uh, but you can as well just, you know, type it in without the slashes. At the end, and now I'm gonna just type in my serial number, which can be found on the bottom of the device. I have a picture of it, so it's like you know, here, and you need to type that into the search bar. Then click on enter and it will find it. Now scroll down to drivers and update. You can select automatic update or manual update. At first I'll show you the manual update. Here you can find different things. Before you do so, I recommend select selecting the operating system that you have, most probably Windows 11. If you don't know, go to the settings, system, scroll all the way down about then uh, find um, here. You can see it's Windows 11 Home and also that it's 64 bit, it's x64. So we know that we need to get, select the x64, uh, not ARM, not x86, uh, which is 32 bit. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna like get whatever. I may I may want to get um, like the fingerprint reader. I don't want to serve you. <laughs> I just want a fingerprint reader. Now you can click on download, and then it will get downloaded. You can open that file, click on yes, accept the agreement, and click on next. Now click on next and install. Then click on OK and finish. And that's how you install a driver. Now I'm also gonna go to the um, automatic update. I'm gonna scan for the drivers that are missing. So let's click on start scan and at first it will try to open Lenovo Service Bridge, which I don't have. If you don't have it as well, just follow what I'm doing. Wait a moment until it checks for Lenovo Service Bridge. Since I don't have it, it'll say that I couldn't find it and that I can download it right here. Click here, then accept the agreement and click on download. Then open the LSB setup exe, click on next, and click on finish. Now 
Also, it says about the TVSU. I'm also gonna get that. Let's click on yes. And now I think it'll start um, searching for the drivers I mi I'm missing. And I may miss some. Um, Also, if uh, still mm, like you search for the drivers and it doesn't show you any, but you know that something's not working, like your camera, your touchpad, your fingerprint reader, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, SD card reader, USB slot or something like that, you can still go to the manual one, even if the automatic driver update shows you that there is no update to get. And yeah, it says that no updates are required, so that's fine. But of course, if something still wasn't working, I could go to manual update. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.